And now to this story. He was a star on and off the court. And today, several communities are mourning the loss of a St. Charles man who truly lived by the motto, mind over matter. ABC 7's Karen Jordan spoke to some who knew Justin Hardy and how he inspired a lot of people. Justin Hardy was a standout in more ways than one. He made an impression right away on Patrick Woods, head basketball coach at St. Charles East High School. I see him steal the ball and go away for a breakaway dunk. As, as a freshman, you don't see that too often. Woods says Hardy was versatile. He could dunk or nail a three-pointer like he did here a few years ago to win the game against St. Charles North. That shot went viral. Wood says Hardy was also a leader off of the court. Phenomenal student, you know, straight A with honors, graduated college early. That college is Washington University, where Hardy also played basketball, even as he underwent chemotherapy for stomach cancer. He was profiled by ESPN a few months ago. There is no cure for stage four stomach cancer right now, and I'm being put into this game that I, you know, in theory, zero chance of winning. Still, Hardy kept a positive attitude and was a source of inspiration, receiving an award for courage during Final Four weekend and returning to St. Charles East for a special basketball game in his honor. But on Sunday, his family broke the news that Hardy died at the age of 22, his father tweeting, after 13 months of courageously redefining what it means to live with cancer, Justin passed peacefully early this morning. Woods says while this loss is heartbreaking, he's finding comfort in stories from other teachers about Hardy's compassion. I have a student class that, you know, some kids might be making fun of or picking on or not want to sit next to. And sure enough, he pulled the chair up right next to that student, became friends with them and sat with him the rest of the semester. On Friday, here at St. Charles East in the gym, a legacy celebration will take place in his honor. Organizers say it was one of Hardy's wishes that anyone who comes keeps it casual and wears their favorite team's jersey. In St. Charles, Karen Jordan, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Wow. There will be a lot of tears in that, Jim, for yeah, sure. Yeah, years too short, but a remarkable life lived in that <laughs> trip of time and influenced so many. Thank you. I thank you, Karen, for sharing his story. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.